Hey guys and gals, sweet project cars here with cool trick and affordable ways for the do-it-yourselfer and simple ways. Today we're talking about those key fobs that are not working well for you. You may have one button that works and one button that doesn't. I'm going to share with you the number one culprit other than a bad battery on what to do to fix it. Now there's every different type of key fob out there. You have your Dodge key fobs, you've got your Fords, your Cadillacs, Chevrolets, GMs. Let's do the basic idea behind this so that you can put it to your key fob. So let's do the Ford, Dodge, GM, and I'll show you a cool trick with the Cadillac one as well. Let's do the Dodge key fob first, and it's real simple. You have to split the case. Every one of them pretty much has a little notch right here. And you take a penny. I found a penny works the best. You can use a dime. Twist it. Pops open. Now as you're looking at this, you're thinking, well, I don't know why it's not working. The battery's good. Take the rubber booty out just enough to get the circuit board out of there. There's your circuit board. And I'm going to share a little trick with you that will have to do with your home as well. We're going to take a little 99% and a Q-tip or two Q-tips. The tools are in the show more of the video description. If you look for the video description, you will find all the tools. Now you have your 99%, you have your circuit board and these pads right here. You see how clean that Q-tip is? You don't need a lot of it, so I dry it off just a little bit, but watch this. And you can just see the dirt on there. Then you take your pad, and I clean it up in here. It's getting dirtier. Then you take your circuit board, put it back in. Snap your cover back on. Done. Let's now do the GM. Sometimes you have to grab the booty to pull it up like that. I call it the booty. There's a circuit board. A little more 99. Then clean the little uh, pads inside here. And while you have your key fob out, you can wipe a little 99% right over it and disinfect it while you're doing it. You see how dirty that is? That's what makes the connection. Those little pads in here touching on the circuit board. And anytime you change your battery, good time to do that right there. Now the Cadillacs look like they're a little harder to get apart, but they're not because you just take and twist this. It's like that, pops right open. And what I do on these Cadillac jobs is I just, I put a little spin off on Q-tip, rub that on there like that. Push that through. Pull and push. Lines it right back up and they're back in there. Now on this, there's slots right here. You just set that back in the slots. Take your circuit board. Done. All set to go. Like I said, I'll use a little 99 percent on this and clean it all up. Now let's show you the difference with a lot of the older Ford ones. I don't know exactly, uh, we haven't had to do any of the newer Fords, but now on this, they make it really hard to get out. You have to actually push on the button to push that out. With the Ford key fobs, it is a micro switch. You can feel that. 
So there's not much you can do with these Fords. That's just the way it is. They don't really want you to do anything with it, obviously. Let me go share with you another item that doesn't have anything to do with cars that may save you a few bucks. Right, here's something that's just a bonus to you. This happened on my mother-in-law's thermostat right here. And these are soft touch controls, which means you should barely have to hit that. This is what I'm talking about, loading up your memory banks. Knowing the key fob deal that we did, I took it apart and it was these contacts right in here and they were really dirty. I've already cleaned them, but I also did the back side of these buttons. But look how much dirt they pick up. This could save you a few bucks from having to buy a new thermostat. And I just cleaned that about a week ago. So if you find yourself on your thermostat pushing really, really hard on the buttons to get it to do what it's supposed to do, pop the front cover off, especially if you have these soft touch, that's all you should have to do. You shouldn't have to hammer on it and push to the bottom. Mm -hmm.